this is one piece that the smart body, smart mind has given me that is beyond ability to describe because mm -hmm. my doctors are telling me the healing that they are seeing in my body, literally is there's no explanation for it. There, there just isn't. And they are both telling me my primary care and my naturopath are both telling me that they believe it's a result of doing this nervous system rewire work, the amount of time that I've put into it. And I'm very faithful with doing it that, um, that's the only thing that's helping me to pr improve because I literally am having some actual physical um, healing that's happening. Mm -hmm. And, and my, my ribs are more stable now. They are wow. not, they used to go out every day, several times yeah. a day. Yeah. And now I am getting several days in a row without them. I still oh. get exhausted because sure. the, the syrinx still stabs me, burns me cuts yeah. me, whatever you want to call it. It's still, mm -hmm. you know, all the time. It just, t -t 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 -t. Yeah. you know, and I, I have the, but the neuropathy is not as bad. Um, one time the, we did the panel, right. That very week before I finally yeah. got feeling back in your fingers, in yeah. my fingers. I remember that. Yeah. And the other day I did something and I went, I felt that and I didn't even cut it. You know, yeah. so it's, it's still, that's still improving. There's lots of little things that are improving. Mm -hmm. Um, like my naturopath, well, my doctors have both still told me, Darla, I can't release you to work because I wouldn't hire you myself because your body's not dependable. You know, <laughs> it's like you have energy for a while, but when it goes, it's just gone. And then there's right. nobody in the world. You wouldn't last long enough for any, it would be useless. You know, you would right. work a week and you'd be, it'd be over. You'd be, you'd be out. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be out. So, you know, the migraines are better. I'm not having them every single day. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it is, it comes back to attitude for me because in the beginning, I felt very sorry for myself and really angry. I sure. had a lot of anger. It was like, I have lived a healthy life. <laughs> you know, I've tried my best to take care of myself since yeah. I was a teenager and understood what that meant. You know, I intended to have a very active life for as long as I live. And yeah. I felt really sorry for myself. In the beginning, I gave myself a half an hour, 30 minutes. Feel sorry for yourself. Cry, scream, do whatever mm -hmm. you got to do. Get it out yeah. and then start thinking about what you're thankful for. That's a, well, that's a good, I like that. I like yeah. that because sometimes we force ourselves to not feel that grief and despair and emotional it's pain. There. And it's there. <laughs> Yeah. But we also don't want it to consume us to the point where we're in the victim identification mode, which right. I have talked about before. You've probably heard me speak about my mentor, yeah. specifically Peter Levine saying out of all, you know, I've sat and listened to him work with folks whose traumas I wouldn't even want to repeat. They were so no, they're famous. horrific. I've, yeah. And you see these individuals come in and you can't imagine that they survived the, the, like the history that he would read to us before they would come out. Yeah. And then he'd work with them and then they'd leave. And then inevitably, and I've heard him say this more than once, he said, that person will be fine because, and you want to know why, you know, and he's kind of trying to get us to think <laughs> like, why Peter? That's because they don't identify as a victim. Right. They were victimized. They were abused. Yes. yes. Badly. No yes. soul should go through that. No. That is accurate, but they do not see themselves as that victim 